Welcome in. So, to tackle this word problem, first things first, make sure to read the question every single time. So starting off with the question here, it says, on what day will she complete the assignment? Sounds good. So, again, we don't have all the context yet, but we do know what this problem is about in terms of what the goal is. Right here. The goal is, what day will you complete the assignment? And we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday listed. That's pretty consistent. We're looking for the day that we finish. Now, step two is going to be, well, what information do we have that relates particularly to finishing this assignment? Remember, we first want to think about this as a story before we worry about the numbers. Worrying about the story first gives us the advantage of understanding what the heck is going on. So here we go. So step one, again, our goal is uh, assignment is finished. on blank. So that's how you want to really think about this. We finish the assignment on blank on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So up next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead now and collect our information and see what information, if any, relates to that goal. So we see here, a teacher has assigned 184 pages of reading. If Nivanka starts reading on Monday and reads 46 pages each day, on what day will she complete the assignment? Okay, so again, just read it casually. We're talking about an assignment that's 184 pages long, and Ivanka starts on Monday, reads 46 pages a day. Sounds good. So we see here, 184 total pages. That's right there. Assigned 184 pages. My ass bad party people. Hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAP score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept. From adding and subtracting decimals, to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible. And we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. And then up next we see that Nivanka starts on Monday and then reads 46 pages each day or per day. Now this is very useful information because guess what? Uh, each day, pages each day. That's the same thing as saying pages per day. Now I'm gonna review two different ways that we can solve this. The first way is gonna be kind of like a caveman method where you're kind of just using sticks and stones. But then the other method is gonna be very useful in case we have a different version of this problem. So let me show you the first way here. So naturally speaking, I hope we can understand that, hey look, Nivanka starts on Monday, right? Starts on Monday, and that's 46 pages each day. So on Monday, we can assume that Nivanka reads 46 pages. And then on Tuesday, that's another 46. On Wednesday, that's another 46. Thursday, another 46. Friday, another 46. And I'm not going to write anything more than Friday because, you know, Friday is really the last day that we have as an option. So if that's the last day that we have as an option, no worries. We can stop right there. But here's the thing. Here, this is the caveman method, okay? I'm going to show you the faster method in a moment. But if you take a look here, you're saying, hey, 46, 46, 46, 46. And you're just going to keep adding up until you get to a total of 184. That's it. So caveman method, here we go. 46 plus 46, that's going to be what? Well, you can go ahead and do it on the side if you'd like to. 46 plus 46, that's going to be 92. So we have 92 total on Tuesday. If you add another 46, what's that going to be here? 
Well, 92 plus 46. And you see how this is going to take a while, right? So that's going to be 138. And again, you got to know your mental math a little bit, or you can go ahead and just do it by hand. Either way is fine. So then if you have another 46, go ahead and add that now. What's that going to give you? Well, that's going to be, well, 40 plus 138, that's 178. Then add the 6, that's 184. Oh, that's exactly what we need. There we are. And that's going to be on Thursday. But here's the thing. I want to make sure that you know this clearly right now. What if, because when you know, using the strategy obviously worked, but what if we're dealing with a problem that says, well, uh, what if we have 2,000 pages of reading or 2,500, right? What if we had that many pages? Will this work? No, this is going to take way too long. And that's why I want you to understand that we should be able to see this as a distance, rate, and time word problem. So let me show you how we can set this up to get this done the proper way. So here, here's what we can do. Allow me to go ahead and just erase everything that we've done. Feel free to rewind if you'd like to watch it again. But if you would like to think about it this way, I really implore you to do so. The 184 total pages, we have 46 pages each day, which is the same thing as saying per day, same thing. And if you notice, well, pages per day, we can consider that a rate. And then over here, 184 total pages, what we're trying to achieve, what the assignment is, the goal, that's considered a distance. And if you didn't know that, well, guess what? Again, whatever you're trying to accomplish is a distance. The speed at which you're doing it, that's the rate. And so what we're looking for is time, really. We're looking for time. Because if we set this up as a distance equals rate times time problem, guess what we can do? We have 184 equals 46 pages per day times the number of days, or T, for time. To solve this, all we need to do, really, is divide both sides by 46. And guess what? We've got ourselves a nice, good problem here because we can cancel this out on the right side. And then we just have to figure out what 184 divided by 46 is. And so to get that done, here's what we can do. We can go ahead and say, hey, 184 and 46 are both even numbers. Since they're both even, we can actually simplify that nice and easy. And we can say, hey, look, 184, 46, divide them both by two real quick. And if we do that, then we'll go ahead and receive, looks like that would be 92 over 23. And then from there, we'll see what we can do in terms of 90, 23 going into 92. We can do a little bit of guesstimation if we want to. We look at 23 going to 90. Maybe we can do four. And that is the correct answer, obviously. We can do 23 times four, and we'll see that three times four is 12, two times four is eight, carry the one, that's gonna give us nine. So yeah, it would be four. So that'll be four days. And it's me again, your coach Anderson. Look, you're doing these problems right here on YouTube, but I want you to join me for a live class that's free once a week. I do this because I wanna help other people succeed just like you. So if you wanna raise your score, sign up for my free classes once a week. They're hosted on Zoom. And on top of that, you'll get my free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. So there's no reason not to sign up. So go ahead, get off your butt, sign up here, the link there, somewhere over here. Figure it out, but sign up, and I'll see you in the next class, my ASVAB party people. Let's get back to the problem. Monday is the first day, Tuesday is the second, Wednesday is the third, and Thursday is the fourth. One, two, three, four, and that's why at the end of the day, Thursday would be the correct answer. Now, if we were dealing with, again, more pages, like 1,500 pages, this strategy would be outstanding because we would automatically be able to get the number of days and then just count from there. So I'm Anderson, your math coach. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know and let's keep moving forward the right way. I'll see you in the next one. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.